for watching CNBC TV 18 and let's begin with the big deal story of the day. I have with me emphasis COO, CEO of the company Ganesh IR. Uh, Ganesh, you know, I'm coming straight up to you. I've been asking you about the likelihood of uh, emphasis being on the blocks and Blackstone has today acquired Hewlett Packard's entire 60% stake in the company. Take me through the deal valuation and more importantly, what is the timeline that you're, they're looking at uh, to be able to complete this deal? See, an important, uh, of course, it has to go through regulatory approvals and, uh, and there are elements. Uh, MSA has to go through shareholder approval. So there are various steps involved. But what is exciting uh, from business perspective, Kritika, is uh, if you look at two businesses that we are in, uh, one is called Direct Core, which is roughly half of our revenue, and HP, which is roughly quarter of our revenue. This uh, transaction provides us with an opportunity to grow our direct core at a much faster pace than what we have been growing. We have been growing at the rate of about 14%, and we can grow much faster with the opportunity in the portfolio companies. On HP side, where we have been declining at roughly about 19 to 21% per annum, with the uh, new MSA subject to shareholder approval, we will have an opportunity to have a safety net and a op uh, potential to grow, which is absolutely a pleasure to have uh, that as an opportunity. So as a leadership team, what's ahead of us is accelerated growth, stability, and continuity, which is what we are focused on. And that's why we are, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I feel like a kid in a toy shop. Very, very excited. Okay, you're very excited, sir. I get that. But, you know, I want to understand what Blackstone really brings to the table. You spoke about getting access to portfolio companies. Is there an agreement that you have signed with Blackstone with regards to that? Uh, as I said, the process and decision was completely HPE, and, um, you know, I got into thick of things, into details uh, this morning. But let me uh, talk about your second part of the question. Um, uh, you know, portfolio companies, 80 portfolio companies uh, are there in uh, Blackstone, and based on their statement this morning, the addressable market is uh, in and around a billion dollars which is tremendous. Of course, it would be arm's length. We have to prove ourselves. But to have this opportunity of a platform, which could be worth billion dollars, is tremendous. Now, the ball is in management's court, in emphasis court, to see how we convert it into reality. And that can add significant growth to our direct core business, which has been growing at the rate of 14%, as I mentioned earlier. All right, Ganesh, but uh, I want to understand the deal that you have with HP on revenue. There is a commitment of around 900 to $990 million for the first five years. What happens after five years? See, um, it is actually $990 million, not 900 And um, the MSA has uh, auto-renewal clause beyond five years for three terms of two years. So in t total, if nothing goes wrong, there is a... 11-year period for this MSA. And as I mentioned, as the word suggests, this is minimum revenue guarantee. And with a preferred uh, partner status that uh, we will be enjoying, subject to the new MSA being approved and signed, is um, an opportunity to go much beyond the minimum revenue guarantee. And that is what is exciting. Having a safety net, preferred partner status, and the uh, potential to go beyond minimum revenue and bring growth and stability to HP revenue, which has been declining at the rate of uh, about 21% over the last uh, three years. Ganesh, before I let you go, what happens to the entire employee base? Because that's the one question that employees ask whenever a deal is struck. This entire deal is predicated based on elements of continuity, predictability, and accelerated growth. So if you take first two, Unless there are performance issues, we don't have to look at any major surgery. Now, accelerated growth would require infusion of new talent, and we would be looking towards new talent. So there is absolutely um, no reason for anyone to panic. But uh, all of us should stay excited about the future potential this partnership is about to bring. All right, Ganesh, and my last question to you. Will you be with the company as the CEO? And obviously, your immediate senior top management, including the CFO, including the uh, other senior level vertical heads, will you stick on with the company? Absolutely. No question about that. We have been in the trenches fighting tough battles for the last six years. 
We are more of a family. Uh, we, are, we would like to see emphasis in the rightful place. So we are absolutely committed to emphasis success. No question about that. All right, Ganesh, many thanks for joining in with that. Pleasure to have you with us and congratulations on signing that deal. I've been